feel bad for all those kids standing outside for the uh, is zone. It's pretty chilly out there today. It, it's cold. You know, we're going to see numbers fall a little bit more tonight, uh, but it's really the winds. Okay. They're high enough to give us wind chills in the 20s now. Wow. Overnight, those numbers could dip into the teens. So going to be a colder night ahead. Most of us are sitting just above that freezing mark right now. 34 is in Jackson and Lansing, a pair of threes in Ann Arbor and in Howell, 35 in Marshall, 37 in Owasso. But the winds are really one of the bigger factors tonight and tomorrow as well. They'll be upwards of 20 miles per hour on your Wednesday. Tonight, close to 15 miles per hour. Given the numbers, we've got wind chills in the 20s in some spots. And again, these numbers may dip into the teens overnight. So if you have any plans to be out the next couple of hours, make sure that you're bundled up and you have the hat and the gloves. On campus right now, no snow, but we had some earlier. Not much, but some. 33 degrees is the current number. Now back off to the east is that little bit of snow that we had earlier. It didn't really amount to much, but we had a couple of flakes fly. To the north and west, there's some more snow that's trying to dive this way. You can see in northern Minnesota and parts of Canada, this is our next chance for snow. As this moves into the Great Lakes, it's going to get some more moisture. This little disturbance will give us the chance to see a couple of flakes tomorrow maybe Thursday, and I emphasize that word maybe because it'll be close. You'll see it here on Future Track. A lot of clouds tonight. That's just about it. Maybe a stray flurry out there, but the bigger story, it's going to be a colder night with, again, it feeling like the upper teens in some spots. On your Wednesday, you'll see a couple of snow showers trying to fall as we head throughout the day. Not much. I think most will stay dry, but there could be a couple out there. Most of it will be to our north and to our east. As for that chance Thursday, it still looks like it'll be just to our north. As we head through the afternoon, you'll see some snow trying to fall. Could even be a few rain showers as as well. Again, I think it's going to stay to our north, but if this track changes and dives further south, we may see a rain or a snow shower. I don't think that we'll see much. Chances look fairly slim, but we'll keep a close eye on it the next 24 to 36 hours. Tonight we fall to near 30. That's the actual air temperature, but keep in mind with the winds up to 15 miles per hour, it could feel like the teens in some spots, so a cold night ahead. Tomorrow, a couple of snowflakes may fly, just a few, not expecting much. I think a lot of us will stay dry, but we could see some breezy once again with winds upwards of 20 miles per hour. So even though temperatures will be in the mid-30s, it's probably going to feel like the 20s most of tomorrow. So dress warm if you have any plans to be out. Thursday, there's that slight chance, but again, I think it stays to our north. I think the weekend is starting off OK. Friday into Saturday, we'll call it partly cloudy, uh, calm, quiet as we head later Sunday into Monday. Showers are expected to return. Now the uh, back side of that, though, we could see some snow on your Tuesday. Even though we are expecting rain Sunday to Monday, take a look at the uh, temperatures back in the mid 40s. So we'll take that. The trade off, though, like I mentioned, it's going to be a couple of soggier days. That's going to be our best chance to see anything fall here in the coming days. All right, something to keep an eye on, Brett. Thank you.